Hey everybody, Brandon here from First Baptist Mount Shasta, uh, October 10th, 2018 with a weekly update for First Baptist and the Mount Shasta area. Um, a few things going on in our church I want to make you aware of and continue to, to promote. One of them is Operation Christmas Child. Uh, we're putting together shoe boxes to send overseas to children for, for Christmas. Uh, we're trying to get a thousand uh, shoe boxes out of our South County area, uh, specifically Mount Shasta, but in the surrounding areas. So if you'd like to participate in that, there are three ways that you can do that. One, you can pick up uh, boxes from our church, empty shoe boxes that we have. We have tons of them uh, ready to go out to you and your family. And you can pack those shoe boxes with, uh, with items and we'll give you a packing list as well. The second way you can help is to donate. If you, if you aren't really into packing the item, but you, you want to donate maybe money or d donate uh, bulk items for us to pack, we'd be happy to, to take that as well and receive that. Uh, third way is, is to help us out uh, during our packing party on November 4th. So more information to come about that. But those are the three ways <clears throat> to help us. So you can pack a box with you and your family. Uh, you can donate or you can be a part of the packing party on uh, the 4th of November. Um, other things happen in Harvest Festival, our Community Harvest Festival. We, we do that every year, host that, uh, and usually at the Armory. Uh, it looks like we're going to get that again. We're, we're going through the hoops right now to, to make that happen. But uh, Harvest Festival is going to be on Halloween night, 1031, and it's going to be from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. So make sure that you know uh, to pass information on. Let uh, your friends know that we are doing a Harvest Festival. Uh, maybe you'd like to be a part of that. You can help with that. We certainly need all the help we can get to, to run that event. So call the church office here in Mount Shasta, at First Baptist Mount Shasta, and uh, we'd love to connect you to, to games or times or, or ways you can help volunteer or maybe donate candy to the cause because we, uh, we go through a lot of candy. We usually serve around 1,000 people, probably a little over 1,000 people uh, during that evening with food and with, with games and with fun and just friendship. Uh, we want to be a good friend to Mount Shasta. So that's another opportunity. Outside of those things, I uh, just wanted to mention again the sermon series we're currently in right now uh, is our sermon series on the Lord's Prayer. Lord, teach us to pray. And uh, this previous Sunday, we just covered uh, the line, the first line of verse 10. Lord, we ask, petitioning the Lord, uh, your kingdom come. And uh, and we so we kind of talked about the, the kingdom of God and what that was. And there were three general aspects to that. The first was the grace of the kingdom. That there's this grace that Jesus is is bestowing upon us through his, his offering of, of himself, uh, his death and his resurrection, that, that we have grace uh, given to us, that, we, that when we believe the gospel, uh, it changes everything. We, we are, we're rescued from uh, sin and separation. So there's the grace of the kingdom that's found in Christ. And then there's the power of the kingdom. You know, once we have trusted Christ as Savior, there's this life to be lived still. And uh, through the kingdom of God, he gives us this power through the power of his Holy Spirit uh, to live in a, in a way that that looks like Jesus, that, that imitates Jesus, that is conformed more into the pattern of, of the Son, Jesus Christ. So there's power to be had. As we ask, so as we ask, Lord, your kingdom come, what we're asking is that we that we'd receive that grace uh, to, to believe, and we'd, then we'd receive the power of the kingdom in order to live faithfully to him and, and to follow him. Uh, certainly he has power also to, to heal. He has power to change lives and redeem and renew and restore. We're asking for that to come as well in the power of his Holy Spirit. And finally, we're looking at the hope of the kingdom and the hope of the kingdom is that that prayer we say lord your kingdom come uh we we can't wait we wait expectantly for your return come lord jesus come quickly uh, so that you will once and for all establish your kingdom on earth as it is in heaven that, that there will be no more despair no more tears no more pain no more disease that that you'll make right what what was made wrong through sin so we're excited about that i hope that as you pray this week and as you think about the lord's prayer and you pray our your kingdom come that you're praying and asking and expectantly that the Lord is going to, to, to lavish you with his grace, with his power, and then with the hope of a future kingdom that he will establish one day. So it's a great opportunity. Love each other well this week. Uh, it's so nice to be in the fall. Hope you're enjoying your time with friends and family and community. Um, make sure you make people an important priority in your life. Love you guys. Talk to you later.